hunting for some grouse on the tree line. Finally back in the bush looking for some birds. Now I did happen to see some birds down the road here. So we're going to go ahead and we'll see if we can rush them up into a tree. Let's go find a chicken. I've seen a rough grouse come in here. Let's go pick up our bird. No other birds that I can see. Oh, big old roughy. Look at that, you guys. Beautiful. And my buckle is just squeaking. All right, no other birds popped up. So I'm gonna head down the road here. I'm gonna go down a an old cat trail. I'm gonna grab the backpack, grab the gun, grab my snowshoes, we're gonna head down there and yeah I'm gonna cook this bird because I'm getting hungry. <sighs> Looks like we got some fresh, fresh Coyote tracks here. He was running too. Well, I haven't seen one rabbit or a chicken. But I think this spot right here. We're out of the wind, so we're going to go ahead and make a fire. Oh my goodness, nothing like a good winter hike to get the heart pumping. One of you guys recommended to try dryer lint. So I got some dryer lint. Let's give her a try. Is it gonna work? Oh yeah, it'll work.
Okay, we got the fire going nice and good now. now we just gotta clean our bird. A lot of times guys will step on the wings and peel off the the breast that way. And me, what I like to do is there's a cavity right here. I call it the V cavity. Right there, I stick my thumb in there and just peel off the meat is what I normally do. But in this case, the breast is so good on this that I'm gonna save it until I get home, until I can get some proper seasoning on it. But the legs, I'm gonna end up cooking those. Nice tail, that's gonna come home. Oh, the tasty meat. It's gonna be yummy. Okay, got our little hot dog stick for the chicken leg. Just give her a good old slice of onion and put her over the fire. And then she's gonna sit there and cook. In the meantime, I'm gonna just scrounge her on here and get some more wood to burn. I'm using a new choke. It's a skeet choke. Never hunted with a skeet choke. And it uh, it's it did its job on that chicken. So, so far so good with the skeet choke. Mind you, I haven't taken very many shots with it. So we're gonna see how it works for me here for the next little while. So yeah, the breast, I'm gonna end up putting those in the slow cooker just to give it some really good flavoring. I'd hate to just throw it over a fire and cook it like that without any seasonings or putting it any in a stew. Well the one's almost done this other one's still a bit too raw. Okay so I just put some extra wood in there moved our chicken legs away from the flame. Let's take a walk down this trail here see if we can see any birds. That's some rabbit action. During the fall, this trail is just full of spruce grass. It's insane how many birds are in this spot. Rabbits, however, always struggled to find a good live honey hole for rabbits. Like I find their trails all the time but I never find the rabbit. But set a snare I can find them. Other than now when it comes to hunting them to shoot them I can never find them. Just better not go too far here because I don't want to burn my chicken. Oh, just look at the things down there. That's the beauty with living up in the north. Lots of trails everywhere, whether it's a cat line or guys from line cutting, or just a beaten down trail that a lot of folks made. It's always nice to drive down there or I like what I'm doing now, I'll go for a little bit of a snowshoe hike and just enjoy the great outdoors. Okay, it's about done. A little burnt, but I know it's cooked now. Ow! Not too hot. That's pretty smart of me to try and eat it right off the fire. Mm-hmm. 
whenever you're eating the legs off one of these birds, be careful. Because sometimes, if you're not careful, you can bite into that pointy end of the bone on the leg. They have a tendency to break. And if you bite into them funny, you could put a hole in your gum. See, even this one has that pointy old bone on them. All right, better put out the fire, put my stuff away and head back to the truck. There is the truck. Oh my goodness. Maybe we made it home. So where I had my water bottle, on this chair right here, the lid came off and spilled water all over my seat. All right, that's about gonna do it for the video, you guys. If you guys like today's video, consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up for more videos like this one here we had today. I also do a lot of fishing, getting into camping, all of the spring camping, summer camping is gonna be coming to the channel this year. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Also this fall, I am pleased to say, hunting duck hunting and grouse hunting i got a lot of work ahead of me to be bringing you guys fresh content this year and i'm looking forward to it and i know a lot of you folks are itching for those videos to come out so yeah click that notification bell so you don't miss an episode until the next episode we will get you guys next time